family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I still have my pajamas on and <laughs> it's actually 11.30 a.m. and I'm getting ready for go and fix my hair, color my hair, cut my hair, make my hair look good again. But before I do that, I did want to pop up here to have a wear test of Wizzyart Seamless Eye Primer. Now I got this a couple of weeks ago and it's, I don't think it's a new product, but it's actually new for me. And I like Viseart's eyeshadow palettes and I love their formula and their, how they, nice they look on the eyes and how long they wear. But I do want to try the Viseart eyeshadow base. And I like doing these kind of videos where I only try one product. If some of you is interested to just hear the thoughts about this product and don't want to see you know, fuss about all uh, different, different products. I like to do one product videos. Uh, sometimes I do full face of new makeup or try some new makeup, but I often like to, you know, film videos where I only try one product because if you search for it, you can only see that. Now, I'm going to use this and I am going to go in use uh, Michaela and Glam Light collection palette. Now, I did purchase this palette, the whole, whole collection. Unfortunately, when it arrived, it, the, only, the only thing that arrived is this palette. And I did get the, this card where they explain, uh, thank you so much for supporting this launch. One or more of your items is currently on back order. Please contact us uh, directly at their website and let us know if you like to refund for the items or if you would like for us to be shipped in before. And now the problem is that I still haven't got any ship shipping information, so I need to contact them because I feel like I wanted to review the whole collection. So I went and bought it directly when it launched. And in the letter where I got the ship information, I did buy the whole collection. It was in stock. They did kind of send to me whole collection, but suddenly only this came. So I was kind of confused that I didn't know about that before they shipped this. Uh, because if you purchase something, it means it's in stock. So I don't know, it was kind of strange thing. So I won't do a de de delicate video for this, unfortunately, but I will try to use it today and create like uh, maybe everyday makeup look, a soft, peachy kind of makeup look. So we'll see what we can create with this. But let's um, zoom in a little bit and let's go in and try out this boy. I don't have anything on my face uh, and I am <laughs> going to use this on the eyes. Should I shake it before? Usually I always forgot to shake eyeshadow primers, especially the eyeshadow primers that have pigment. It's important that you kind of shake it around. I always forget that. And I don't know if this has any pigment. No, it doesn't. It's kind of see-through. But I am going to set one side, which is maybe a mistake. But I am going to set one side and one side I'm not going to set. Well, it feels like um, oily primer. You know, like a cleansing balm. Oily cleansing balm. It feels like that. It looks like that. Um, I'm kind of scared that it feels a little bit oily. Because I do have very oily eyelids. But I don't know. We'll see. And I will set my right and... I think you'll left when you watch this video. I will set that one with some powder. So I'm going to go in with Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on this side. So I did let this sit a little bit and uh, like a minute or two. So I can see that this side where I set some have some powder on it's it feels more matte and it looks more matte. This one feels a little bit not tacky but I know, I'm scared that it's going to look like a mess. I have no idea. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? But yeah, let's go in with this palette. I do have, this is the Sigma brush that comes in one of the Sigma palettes. I don't know, I just like this brush, so don't remember which, which palette it came in. I'm going to use the Simba shade here. I like this palette. I think it's a very nice palette and it works very well. Blends beautifully. I'm just sad that I didn't, you know, get the collection to review it on my channel. Now this is the side where I didn't set 
the base and it's blending like a dream. The pigment is there. There is no problem with pigmentation, no problem with blending things. Um, kick back. So let's see the set side. Usually the pigmentation is a little bit softer and needs more time to build, build up. But that's normal. But let's see if we can... Well, it's blending and the pigmentation is there. I just feel like this side looks better with the powder. No. Uh, sorry, I mixed. This is with the powder. So I feel like, yes, this side without powder definitely looks more intense and easier. Yeah. I always said, but this is for you guys that don't set your bases or eyeshadow primers. So my eyes are not the same. So to make them look very similar, it's almost like a mission impossible okay i'm going to switch the side like this more flat side and i do want to go in with this buffalo chicken that's like more orangey pink and i want that in the crease because i want that orange pigment there and i like it then I'm going to use the same side of the brush, go in with hot cocoa. This shade here. I'm not going to do anything special. We are here to redo the what it's called <laughs> eyeshadow base or primer. So this is not really, it's showing, but not as pigmented as it is in the pan. And I laid a couple of eyeshadows, maybe that's why. But there it is. Let's go on this side where we did set it with some powder. There is definitely some fallout. I do want to dip up everything. So I'll go in like with this smaller, flatter, but a little bit fluffier brush. And I think this is the, I have no idea what brand, it just say eyeshadow brush. Go in the Willow, this darkest shade in the pan, and just dip up the bottom corner of the eye. And I know Michaela uses the shimmery shades with some um, base, I think like a NYX Glitter Primer, I think it's called, or Shimmer Shades Primer. But I'm not going to use that today, actually. Because I do want to try out the base, you know, and I feel like if I use that NYX, it's just going to, I don't know, maybe mess up. Okay, I will go in and use the Glow Up shade, this shade here, with my fingers. Oh wow, it's a really interesting shade. Definitely some fallout, but it looks nice. So I'll go now and finish this makeup look and I'll be back to talk about it a little bit more. And right now it's 50 minutes till 12, so see you soon. Okay, now we have the final makeup look or final look. Now it's 20 minutes past 12 and I've been having this eyeshadow base on for around 30 minutes. Now let's talk. This was a very easy eyeshadow primer to use, no pigmentation. So if you search something with after something with pigmentation, then this is definitely not for you. It does have that oily consistency, kind of feels like an oil. I don't know if you can see, like a, like a balm. Let me put it a little bit on the hand. It's like a balm, but it dries down matte. And it has that a little bit silicone-y or light texture. Smells also like um, a lot of oils. 
and I'm kind of concerned because I do have very oily eyelids. I don't know how this is going to wear, but I mean, it feels smooth and nice on the hand though. So this side where I set it with powder, it blended nice, just needed some more pigment than this side where I didn't set it with powder. This was a little bit easier to build up, easier to blend, but that's always like it is with, you know, when you use powder on top of the eyeshadow base. I feel like I say the same thing in every video when I review um, eyeshadow primers, but this is how it looks. Oh, I forgot to put some highlighter. How could I forget that? It's a stressful day, a lot of things to think about, uh, to think about. so let's use some highlighter here because this palette doesn't have any bright shade that I will like, like champagne shade for the in the corner. Nothing that kind of speaks to me. So I do like this palette, though. I have to say I really, really like it. I understand the hype and I think it's the worth, worth the price. So if you consider it to buy, that will be also in stock soon. I don't know if it is, but I will link everything down below. But that's it. On my lips, I do have the color pop the lip stain from Cherry Collection. And I have the mascara Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And I have the foundation from She Glam. Um, bronzer box um, buxam wanderlust dolly blush and what do i have else nyx eyebrow pencil and that's it i think that's everything powder i did use and i did use this huda beauty powder that's what i have huda beauty powder that's everything that I have on my face. So I'll go on with my day and I'll uh, come in and check in after, you know, doing my hair, fix my hair, go around shopping and everything. And I'll be back at the end of the day to tell you how this eyeshadow primer worked on oily eyelids. So see you soon. Hi guys, welcome back. Now it's 9 p.m. and I do have my window open. Sorry for the noise but it's so hot and just took my glasses off so we can see this situation. We've been having this on for, could it be 18? No, 18, what am I talking about? Eight hours. Yes, around eight hours. So let's talk about the eyeshadow primer. Now this side we did set with some, with some powder, this side we didn't set at all. And we are still talking about the VCR, of course we are. I'm repeating myself because I just came home or so this is so creased I don't know if you can see it creased a lot there are there is eyeshadow in the crease which is good and but that's it everything else looks like a disaster my foundation and face makeup looks good except here I, I was at my hairdresser and she did my hair she colored it and styled it I love it of course I got some makeup off or color on my forehead, but we will fix that. This is where we didn't set, it looks the same. So I can't see any difference between these two. So actually it doesn't matter if you set or don't set this primer. I was kind of scared that this is going to happen after eight hours because I do have very oily eyelids and I need to have something that's kind of going to stick and this was giving me those um, oily wipes so I don't know maybe if you don't have the oily if you don't have oily eyelids but you like primer maybe this would be good but I'm kind of a little bit uh, sad I'm definitely going to try it again try it with different primers I find out that if you use metafighting primer or touch-up primers they work a little bit better than setting powders so we'll see I will definitely continue playing with it when I'm at home not going to work because I don't want to have this situation I have to say that it does look better on the side where we didn't set it you can see it's more pigment on here in the crease than it is on the side where we set it which means that you I needed to build up the pigmentation with the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow the primer wasn't sticky but that means also that it faded faster than it did here where the primer was a little bit sticky where the pigment stick to the eye and it's more 
more vibrant so i like how the eye looks with without powder so if i will use it i don't think i will set it maybe i will use it when i play with makeup and try new eyeshadow palettes because it does look really really good with blending and everything so that's what i'm going to use it for but guys that was everything i hope you like this video let me know down below if you try this primer what do you think about it did you try another eyeshadow primer that works really well for you let me know down below guys that was everything don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the notification bell and see you in my next video i love you all bye